Hello there, you beautiful dreamers. Welcome back to Let's Play Yumi 2 It's been a wee while, hasn't it? Episode 188. Wow, we let's go. We got a new version of the game. Hooray. Um, that might look like we've missed loads, but um, I don't think we have actually. They just made the decision, I guess, to bump up to uh, 119. We're on B. That's nice. B's a good player, isn't it? I do like bees. I really likes bees, you know. They're not like wasps or hornets. You know? Bees are like the friendly ones, you know. Your old friend. Um, I'm trying out a slightly different microphone setup tonight. Uh, those of you who watch the streams will know that I have been contending with all manners of chaos and uh, bullshit with my microphone setup, and I'm trying something a bit different. Let's see if it sounds nicer. Um, if it's uh, right off, then I guess we just won't do it again. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I like experimenting on you. You know, the videos that get the most views on this channel make a point of uh, potentially ruining them. Uh, yeah, that's long past, I think. Um, I just turned down just ever so slightly, actually. There we go. Just a little bit. Maybe it's just that world. So you remember this world, right? This is good fun, isn't it? Bugs. We passed through here a couple of times, I think. No, it's relatively new in the grand scheme of things. Um, but we're not too interested in these bugs. So dreamers, I would like to introduce you. So it's it's been a while since I've really like had an axe to grind in this game. And, you know, I try and take a polite attitude towards Yumituki where I can, right? I don't like, you know, the, the old... You remember the olden days where I would just be like, fucking... Ah! Oh, these worlds are bullshit! Ah, the bears, the docks, it's all bollocks. Well, you know, we've moved a bit beyond that now, I like to think. You know, we've, we've matured a little bit. However... This, you may notice this world has a bit of a haze on it. I suspect that was the haze that was, like, uh, indicative of the mental state of whoever made this map, because uh, it's kind of like they were on some sort of crazy drug, because this world is probably one of the most bullshit ones that we've seen in a while. There's this stump here. It gets unhappy with us. It likes some things. Can't say I blame it. These effects, they are cute, aren't they? Uro's effects. Everybody loves Uro's effects. Yeah, I can just piss about with this for a little while. It's nice though, isn't it? It's very peaceful. Except for this haze, this sort of purple haze that's floating about. You get anything else? I don't think you do, do you? We'll try this just because, you know, I like bursting your eardrums a bit. If you're trying to sleep while watching this, you know, get you back to attention. Don't be fucking sleeping on this. I make these videos so that you can fucking fall asleep. I make them so you can, um, 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 moving on. Um, so you might be noticing another thing about this world. It has one of my fucking favourite things in it. Yeah? What's that, fudge? Oh yeah, that's right. Fucking overhanging forest. We even went through one there. I just fucking casually strolled through it there. I didn't even say anything about it. Um, and that is this world in a nutshell. Overhanging fucking nonsense. Um, which is, you know, that's fine, I guess. It's it's fine, you know. It doesn't need to just be us getting upset all the time, does it? Yeah, maybe it does, actually. I think this is what we want. Uh, no. No, it's not. Uh, you may be noticing something else that's happening here, Dreamers. I won't pay too much attention to it. I'll let you enjoy it. See if you spot what's happening. Um, yeah, look at this. There's like loads of this going on. You see, there's a thing up there. You can play with that. Yeah, we can do that. You just have to go over here. Well signposted. I don't do anything though. A bit underwhelming. You ask me. Hmm, things seem to be getting extremely pink, though. What's that about? Hmm? What's all that about? It's very mysterious. Let's see if we can go up here for a bit, now. I bet it's nice up here. Oh, look. There's a tree. Ah. Yeah. It reacts in the same sort of way. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I like that one. Yeah, it's getting very pink around here. What's that all about? Uru's, you know, 
doing a bit of the the drugs off her face, as we might say. So I've spent a long I've spent an ungodly amount of time running around in this world trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Um Okay, great, now we can barely even see anything. What's this? I might not even be able to see that. There's like a cat thing there. Sure does get pink, doesn't it? So the designer of this level, they do seem like the pink. We timed that extremely well, you see. Because we were under some trees when that happened. Which was clever of me. And that wakes you up. So, yeah, you have a limited amount of time in that world. How fun a mechanic is that? What a good mechanic. That's a really good mechanic for your fucking overhanging maze. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? You know? One of these fucking game jams that I participated in. Should have been thinking about that. Hang on a minute, what's this? I haven't seen that one before. I like it. Um, mercifully, though, this isn't exactly the most complicated world to get to, so it's not like, you know, you've lost tons of progress, which is the main reason that I'm showing you that. Um, that, because why should I have to just suffer through these things without you guys at least understanding part of my pain? Part of my pain. Just a part of it. I don't want to expose you to all of it. I don't want to be too traumatised. Now... You might be thinking, well, Fudge, I mean, this is great, but, you know, maybe there's some way you can, like, wash the poison off. Uh, well. So you can never wash the poison off completely. But we'll go we'll go into that in a minute. Um, we need to try and find a way back to that, uh, that tree stump that we were in front of. Not the small one, the big one. Don't deal with small ones. Um, now, I have, I have spent such a long time in here that I'm at least recognising some of the features of the landscape that at least clue me into the idea that I'm in the right sort of place, but fuck, you can just you, you can probably sense my exasperation running around in here this is not my idea of a good time, at all and with this mechanic of like the fade to pink and it will conking out yeah I'm not a fan, I'm not a big fan to be honest well that was a fun little adventure I mean, didn't really achieve anything with that. Uh, let's just do this again, because this was good fun. Right, stump. Uh, down maybe? It's just so good. It's so good. This is what I signed up for. Definitely what I signed up for. Uh, yeah, this is good though. This is what we want. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, up here, maybe? The thing is, it's so indistinct as well. It's just... I mean, they've obviously made an effort here to try and make this somewhat... Like, there's landmarks and things, but... I can see this guy a little bit better now. Now, you may be noticing the screen's getting a bit pink. Um... Yeah. Uru will be dying. Uh, but damn time, if you ask me. Oh, we don't want to go up here. Oh, cool. Now you might be thinking, as I kind of alluded to, well, maybe there's maybe there's something you can do to shore off the inevitable destruction. And indeed, there is, dreamers. Indeed, there is. I've gone completely wrong way for this, but it doesn't really matter. You don't need to know that. Because if you equip this. It will uh, very, very slowly, and I mean very slowly, abate the purple. You can see it's slightly getting less purple. Now, the fact that that happens so slowly, I, I must say, is a fantastic choice. I mean, it couldn't just maybe say to like 10 seconds. No, no, no. It essentially, as far as I can see, it happens in the same speed as it happens forwards, but in reverse. It means it takes fucking ages. Like, what the fuck were they thinking? Look at how long that takes. And it, not even just that. Because it's the bloody space effect, look at how slow we are. It just takes forever to get anywhere like this. So it's just not practical. 
I just, I just don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm, this is just signaling how bloody jaded I am with this game sometimes, but like, what the actual fuck? You do not need things to be this tedious. Not unless you actually just hate the players. Um, which I, I guess maybe they heard me. Maybe they've been listening to me go on about these things and thought, oh, well, they make you happy. I mean, some of these just, they, they don't even fucking start from anywhere. It's just like, just like a fucking random thing. Uh, we are failing to find the thing that I want, but um, that's okay. Really harkening back to the, the dark days of the Let's Play here with, with this mechanic. I should also point out that some of these bloody overhanging foresty bits, they have hidden paths in them. What a treat! Like, there's, there's fucking different paths that you can take while you're underneath the tree canopies. Again, classic Tookie feature there. One of the one of the best. All the world should be like that, I think. The fact that they're not is uh, oversight, I feel. The Tookie committee needs to really pick up their fucking game on that. Uh, we've, we've gone past the thing that would be interesting to look at, but um, I'm trying to find something else first. If we can't find it quickly, I'll, I'll just move on because then we'll probably spend ages tediously running around in here. Remember what I was saying about, oh yeah, I know where I'm going. It doesn't know where they're going. Not even slightly. In fact, um, yeah, you know what, fuck it. So, like, this, right? This is just it. Again, you see, there's like a, I think there's like a branch and path in here as well. Don't care. We're gonna go in this little door. We'll maybe circle back and see if we can trigger it at the end. I want things to get a little bit dry. It's dry enough. So we're in this room. It's nice in here, isn't it? Peaceful. You got this stuff going on here. You got a big. What I guess is a mouse, uh, a boy. Mm. Fair enough. Okay. They don't do much. It looks like they've got something in their hands, though. Fair enough. It's almost the time of the music there. Sick remixing. I don't think this is new music, but it's nice here. So it's, it's kind of unsettling. But that big thing there. Not going to say it. Not going to say it. That's what we're going to go play with, though. But we'll play with it in a minute. Let's go in this door, then. Hey, you. Tis a cat. Uh, well, what about this cat? I can be a furry. Yeah. It's going to be the theme of the video. Crossing effect. Huh. It's nice when the world and the things interact, you know, or at least respond to your presence in some way. Not when they try and kill you, I mean, I'm less keen on that. I'd rather that they don't try and kill me, but I'm okay with them hanging out a bit, you know. They want to do a bit of effect silliness, you yeah, know, I can get behind that. So there's a portal here, this takes you to an area. You shouldn't be surprised about that. We're not going to explore this today, though. Just, you know, mark that mentally in your head that we saw that. Maybe we'll be back there at some point. Who knows? You'll just need to wait, like, fucking three months, and then we'll be back. And then, you know, all of you waiting for the Amori Let's Play to come back. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that, my friends. Um, I do need to get back on and do that. <laughs> I really do. Maybe this uh, setup with the microphone will... Prompt me to go back and play Amori. Oh. Okay. 
continue on, I think. Little cat. Nice cat. Nice. Nice boy. Nice rabbit. Anything else going in on in here if not? I'm sure I've seen that boy running around in here. Guess he's busy. He's got a uh, whatever the fuck that is. Do I die? Okay. Uh, well. Wow, well, look, this has got the fruits on it. The fruits. The fruits. What kind of fruit is that, though? Purple apple. I wouldn't eat a purple apple. Yeah, let's go on this. So you may be fooled into thinking that the world is still, like, loading up when you see the screen. Because uh, if you're like me, you think, okay. You can hear the stuff going on. Now, I literally can't see anything. This isn't your... Don't just adjust your display, dreamers. There's nothing to see here. But we are in control of the crap, as it were. And you have this sort of mechanic. So this is reminiscent of the uh, museum, uh, if you're familiar with that. But you might think, oh, well, these guys look kind of familiar. So, if we go over to here, everybody's dancing. Again though, a bit like the spacesuit, you'll notice that means that we are extraordinarily slow. So for the moment, we're not going to do that. We're going to use this, I'm going to run around at what is still quite a slow, but not as slow pace. I like the music in here, it's quite... Spoopy. Got these giant. Is that urns? Just like the Super Mario Land or Super Mario Two, I should say. Not Super Mario Land Two. Six golden coins, isn't it? Six golden coins. It's not a song. If you sing that at Christmas, you get into trouble. We do need to keep our ears peeled, though, dreamers, because there are. Mysterious things happening. You like mysterious things, don't you? We're done, we're done with the stranger things. Well, who cares about fucking stranger things? But what we want is mysterious things. Unusual things. Spooky things. Like this mirror. Not that spooky, actually. It's got like a... That sort of... It's very reminiscent of the, um, was it the event? Not event. The that called the teleporter maze world in the original Yuminiki. You know what I mean? It's a horse there. What's this? Mm, yeah. Parable of the fan games. It'll make your eyes bleed and your fucking horse will fall off. There's a big sword. I can get that, bro. I don't mean this fucking chainsaw malarkey. Get a fucking big sword. So you notice there's this here. Now if you look closely, and you do have to look quite closely, bear in mind that this is also quite dark. There is a thing behind it. Which is interesting. Shift it out of the way. In you go. Now, for science, we're going to just do this. Okay, don't hear any adverse sounds, which is a good thing, I believe. Works in Uro's favour. Good. Okay. As long as no danger just suddenly sort of leaps out of the shadows, because, you yeah, know, I'm not really up for jump scares. So that looks interesting, doesn't it? That sun certainly reminds me of, uh, what's that one? Yeah, Mexico world. Uh, let's 
switch back over to this since we can move around locally and not get too upset. Look at that. Dancing body. Everybody's happy that Puro's representing. Look what these big things here are. They look like they could be some kind of torture device. What are those things called? Uh, Iron Maiden. What am I doing? After all these years, I still fucking do that. At least you could kind of argue it makes sense when you're fucking trying to get to the bicycle, but... Uh, bicycle? Bike. Just say bike, don't say bicycle. Not a bicycle, it's a bike. Oh. How's it going there? Wanna fight? Ooh. I can actually just about see that, interestingly. Oh well. Guess we're not getting in there then. Very sad. Uh oh. Do you hear that, dreamers? There he is. It's an interesting chaser mechanic here. They follow you when you have your light out. If you switch over to this one, they don't chase you. So it's an argument for just running around everywhere like this. Um, also, they, they don't spawn all the time. As you saw, he was not there when we came in here the first time. But then he was... Sneaky Get was trying to fucking come up behind us and kick our butt. But we're too quick for him, you see. There's another one. See, Maybe they got upset because I chainsawed their friend's face. Well, you know, that's the way of it. It's kind of quiet here. The thing is, because they don't move when you've got this out, if you just have this out all the time. Hey, lads. Do, 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 do. bike out. In fact, we can do that probably a little bit. Also, they chase you if you don't have the fucking... If you don't have anything out, seemingly, which I think is a little bit bullshit. Holy shit, right. Jesus. I think I just... I think I just peaked my mic there. Whoops. But we didn't die. Sorry. Rip your eardrums. Rip the video. Big rip the video. That was close. Do you see that there? My fucking reactions are spot on. Saved it. So we, we're gonna backtrack now. I know it's everyone's favourite fucking thing, isn't it? Backtracking. You have a bit of backtracking, don't you? Especially when it's at this particular velocity. Well, that was the main. As far as I know, there's nothing else in here that's worth seeing, so we, we might as well skedaddle. And that means we can go and. Try probably in vain to find the thing that we missed out on before. I think we can safely just do this here, right? Good. Good. It's a relatively trivial path to get back. Not too tedious. Uh, he says. Rather naively, perhaps. How did we even get in here again? Gone. Hope we can get back. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, that resets a fucking stoned meter. Is there? Yeah, there is. Look at this bullshit. Like, what? Why is it even like that? Why do this to me? I have given Yumi Tuki so many years of my life. So much of my love. 
Oh, okay, maybe not love per se. Tolerance. I've given it so much tolerance. And what does it give me in return? Bloody bullshit. Fucking nonsense. The thing is as well, if you're watching this at home, you could just rewind the video, because we, we got there without a problem the first time. We literally got to that free stump without issue. It's just this. Now I'm going I'm literally just going around in a circle over and over again. This is my punishment for my arrogance. Uh no, don't I actually want to speak to you, my friend. Not today, anyway. You're the wrong one. I think you're the wrong one anyway. We do seem to be coming across that one a lot more, so... Let's try it, actually. Let's just see what happens here. You notice how it's getting pink a lot quicker, right? Is it? Is it? It doesn't really seem to be. Okay, I guess we have to do it with the other one then. That or this is going to become even more fucking tedious. Uh, I guess we have to do it with the other one. That's okay. You've got nothing better to do, do you, dreamers? That's why you're watching this. No. Ah, this is what we want, isn't it? Ah, it's not. It's not. Just got my hopes up there. Right. I didn't really want to have to spend the video doing this because it becomes extraordinarily fucking tedious doing this, but I suppose we might as well. Gotta chill out for a little while. Get rid of some of this purple. Is it actually going down? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? I think it is. Oh man, this is the fucking dream scenario. Dream scenario. <sighs> we'll give it like three minutes, and if I literally am too incompetent to do it, then uh, tough, I guess. Which is a shame because there's there's something kind of cool in here that I was hoping to show you guys, but. If it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Yeah. This forest bullshit doesn't want to play ball, then, but to be honest, I don't want to play ball with it either, because it's a fucking cheater. I don't think it helps that I'm literally just going, like, up and down the same fucking corridors over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. There's a particular pattern I'm looking out for. In case you, you're thinking that I'm just literally running around here like an idiot. I'm, well, I am running around here like an idiot. I mean, there's no getting away from that, but um, there is something approaching a method in my madness. But you'll just have to believe me on that. I know it doesn't look like that. God, have I mentioned yet that I fucking hate this world? That's, I know that sounds like really strong language to use, and I've made a conscious point not to not to talk like that about our beloved Tuki so so bluntly, but it just honestly fuck me, man. Oh my god. Just 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 let me fucking get back there. How fucking difficult can this be? Ah, uh, game. Come on. This is not fucking funny. Ah, uh, 
I think the worst thing though is that it forces you guys to listen to me try and fill air for far longer than anyone really should have to. I mean, I don't want to listen to me talk for this long. And I'm certain that you guys will be... This is what we want. Right, okay, thank fuck for that. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Dip shit. Ah, oh, thank fuck. Right, you. Nice to see you. Right. I can eat this. Right, we're going to quickly do that. Now you'll notice that the screen is actually getting pinker, even though we're in the quick change menu, which is interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to the spacesuit. Didn't work though. And she falls over. Now you didn't see this before, but I think there's like little, yeah, there's like little tendrils that come out. Yep, that's what that looks like. Now, you guys know I love my little glitchy events. So seeing that, which I triggered entirely by accident, to be honest, I was just like, oh, I'll just put the space on. Um, and that happened, and I was like, yeah, cool. Well, I made that far more painful than it really needed to be, Dreamers, and I am sorry about that. But uh, we got there. We did definitely get there. Uh, good. Good. Well done, everybody. Well done. We did well. I did well. Hopefully this video is actually recorded properly, because otherwise I'm going to be very upset. The slow churn up to episode 200. This has been episode 188. For your viewing pleasure, dreamers, I hope you had an excellent time. Hopefully it won't be so long until we meet again. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.